Hello to all the other oddballs out there. I wanted to give an overview of this device that I built after uh, watching the Danny Jones podcast last week. His guest was a guy that calls himself Museum of Tarot. And uh, on Museum of Tarot's website, he has this device that he claims can amplify your psychic abilities and aid in things like astral projection, clairaudience, etc so uh, of course i had all the stuff laying around the house to build this so i decided to go for it i did have to run out to hobby lobby and buy myself a 10 inch embroidery hoop that's one hobby i have not participated in yet so wrapping 16 gauge automotive wire around the embroidery hoop in a right-handed coil i ended up making sure that my handedness of this coil matched um, museum of tarot as well as the other videos I will talk about in a little bit. But right-handed coil all the way around this loop and then labeling the right and left sides to keep them straight. The entire coil takes about 48 feet of wire to completely wire it up, or it did in my case. So I had 25 feet of blue and I had 25 feet of black, which worked out about right. Um, got myself halfway around here, taped it up, soldered it, started with the black wire taped it up and then his project uses an Arduino Uno which is the original Arduino it's a little bit bigger I had a bunch of Arduino Nanos sitting around the house so that's what I went with and I'll try to zoom in here on the device itself so all we're doing here is using D9 which is the digital output pin to send a positive 5 volts in an on and off sort of situation through this LED, through this resistor into the base of this TIP120 uh, transistor. So this thing has three pins, one, two, three. And in the case of this transistor, it's BCE, so base collector emitter. And the schematic for this entire contraption sends the positive signal through the base which makes sense it's an npn transistor and then the collector is what actually sends the signal into the coil both sides of the coil come off of the collector the uh let's see here the left side of the coil goes through a diode that you can see here on the board before the uh or it's between the transistor and the coil the right hand side literally connects back to the collector so what in the hell the dogs are barking anyway getting back to the circuit the uh, emitter goes straight to ground this ground pin on the arduino and i have no idea why that's the way it works it's kind of weird but the tip 120 is a pretty typical transistor that hobbyists use to do things like motor controllers with Arduinos, so I assume that's where the original design came from, just to keep it simple. And in the end, there's a sketch, which is what you call a program that you load onto this thing, that's basically sending a pattern of on and off pulses with a delay in between each pulse that varies. Um, it sends it a pulse of energy through this coil, and the overall goal is to send a pulse of energy that then travels around in this direction. For each pulse and the thought behind this is that it de, uh, decouples both sides of your brain so both hemispheres so it disconnects the right hemisphere from being attached to the left hemisphere apparently so what I found after doing my research trying to validate this circuit and figure out how it works is that Museum of Tarot copied this design directly down to every little detail from Dr. Michael Persinger, who was using it late in his life to run some sort of an experiment to see if a person wearing this could sync their thoughts up with another person wearing the same device elsewhere, both running the same Arduino program at the same time. And he apparently came up with some sort of positive results. And I assume that's where Museum of Tarot got the idea that this thing could then be used to enhance all psi abilities, but I don't have any proof that that's true. So I've worn this thing 
and run the protocol probably five times now and I don't have any extra sensory perception. I'm a rather dense person, but I have not noticed a difference at all. I did validate that this thing is working. I held this thing up over a guitar, electric guitar pickup and uh, it's definitely sending little pulses of electricity into the guitar pickup because you can hear it over the amplifier. But the next question I have is who else out there has built one of these? And how can we modify the Arduino sketches or use the ones that already exist to make this thing do anything? Because I have a feeling that yes, you can send signals into your brain and kind of control how it's working. But my question is, does anyone else out there know what kind of signals can be used for what purpose? And uh, does anyone out there have any ideas for experiments that we can run with other people that have these to see if we can sync up thoughts or have some sort of a multi-person remote viewing situation that pans out. But anyway, I just wanted to show that. The way you wear this thing over your head is you throw a shower cap around the ring here and just wear it on your head so it kind of centers itself. And it does work um, as shown in Persinger's old videos, which I will link as well as Museum of Tarot's videos. But I'm curious what this actually does because it seems like Museum of Tarot kind of abandoned this project after putting a bunch of effort into it and everybody was just left with more questions than answers. And I would like to take it further if we can, keep moving the needle. I'd like to see what this thing can do. One thing I did notice about the circuit is typically on a transistor, if you want to amplify it, a signal you'd come off of the emitter which is being sent to ground in this case my hunch is that for safety reasons they purposely only want to send the small signal that comes off of the collector into this coil I have a feeling if you're amplifying 5 volts times about a thousand on a TIP 120 you'd be getting all kinds of extra juice into your head and I don't know that that's a good thing so the, I will admit the circuit is really weird. I don't understand it, but this is exactly how the circuit is set up in Persinger's device. And then obviously Museum of Tarot copied it down to every last detail. Same resistor, LED. So I don't know that Persinger's original Arduino sketches were anything like the ones from Museum of Tarot. Museum of Tarot provides two sketches. He tells you to run the first one for six minutes and then load the second one and run it for you know, anywhere from like 16 to an hour. I ended up combining both of these sketches into one sketch and I run the first one on a six minute loop and then it kicks over to the second part of the program for 60 minutes and then I have a, a statement to shut it down so that the entire thing will run for 66 minutes and then turn itself off. I figured that's easier. I don't have to stop and load anything. That way I can just power the entire device with a five volt USB wall wart. But anyway, I just wanted to show this thing off and connect with anybody else who's built one of these and also has no idea what to use it for or if it even works. I just want to see if people have had good experiences with it and uh, possibly link up and try to figure out how to carry this thing forward because it looks like the uh, Shambhala project or whatever fizzled out and never went anywhere. And it looks like Museum of Tarot is not too receptive to talking about any of this. And after building this, my hunch is it's because he doesn't really know much about electronics. He simply copied what uh, Dr. Persinger had built and Dr. Persinger is dead. So therefore he has no point of reference to like modify it or carry the technology forward in any way other than to sell it as a device of quackery. But that's all I'm going to say about that, and if anyone wants to get a hold of me, reach out and we'll see where we can get with this thing.